A quick disclaimer, you should know that this tutorial is for a third-party asset. That means that it has Playmaker integration, but its functionality and stability is not completely reliant on Playmaker. These tools have bugs of their own, and so you should always first consult with the developer of that tool first. Also, there may be links in the description for fixes. Hello, and welcome to the Final IK Look At tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Final IK's Look At component, combined with the Look At IK action, to make an NPC look at you when you're close enough and to stop looking at you when you're far away. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually set up our NPC here with the look at components. Now our NPC has an animator component on it and it just has a little idle animation playing. If I press play, you'll see that our NPC just has a little bit of breathing, some very subtle idle animation. Okay, now currently by default, we have apply root motion selected. Now, if I keep that selected, there could be some interesting problems with how the mesh positions itself in the world. Sometimes you end up getting a little sunk into the ground if you don't do things right. For this example, I'm gonna be unchecking the apply root motion option. Next, I'm gonna add the component full body biped IK. Automatically, you'll see that it went in and read where all of our transforms are. So these are all the joints in the NPC. And you could look at this mesh here to see that all the joints have been positioned nicely. Okay, so I'm just gonna minimize that. Next, I'm gonna add a component called look at IK. And in here, I'm just gonna add one, two, three elements for our spine. So I can come over to our NPC and in our Spine, I'm gonna open up and just so I could see all three of these. Now if I select the NPC with that look at on it again, I could drag in the first spine element, the second one, and the third one. And then lastly, I'll get this head and drop it into the head value. So I'm just gonna collapse that. And we're going to add an FSM on here. Now this FSM, we'll call this look at player and we'll just call this look at player. Now, just to show you how things work here, very simply, we'll just put in a look at IK and we'll change the target to player and we'll change this weight up to one and we'll change this body weight and head weight up to one as well. Okay, I'm just doing this to show you how the actual thing works. When I hit play, you'll see that they're looking at us. They turn not only their head, but their whole body Right? So if I get behind them, they're really looking behind them now. Right? And then they turn around and look at us. So that's working pretty well. Now, what you could do is I'm just going to come out of this. And if we look over here in the editor mode, I could change this body weight. Since this look at IK is running every frame, we could see these changes made in real time. So, first of all, just changing the weight, this changes how much the actual look at IK is influencing the position of the bones on this character. At one, it has full control over the bones that you've specified, but at zero, it has no control. At halfway, it's a little bit of both, right? It's mixing both the positioning from our animator. We have this animator on here, so the animation that's playing is influencing about half of it, and then the other half is being influenced by the look at IK. So this is kind of a little in-between state. So as I slide this, you could see the influence changing between the animation from the animator and the influence from the final IK component. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave this at one and our body weight is currently at one, but if I lower this to zero, you'll see that the body part can be controlled independently. So at zero, the body is still abiding by the animation but the head is still looking at us. Similarly, if I change the head weight down to zero, now it's almost as if I just changed the weight altogether because right now the body and head are the only two things that are being controlled by this. I could have the body by itself and then I can add the head to it, but that's not really so noticeable since turning your whole body to look at somebody, your head's gonna come with it as well. Similarly, you can also be changing your target at runtime if, for example, I changed it to this wall and door, they look at the wall and door, and since the wall's origin is down here in the corner, that's where they're looking. But I'm just gonna change it back to player. Okay, and this is a variable, so you could set this up at runtime. I'm just gonna stop this. So a nice simple way that we could set up our NPC to look at our player, depending on how far they are, 
is by adding in just a few more actions. So the first thing that we'll do is add in a get distance action. Okay, now the distance that we're gonna be getting is between the NPC, which is the owner, and the target, which is the player. And then we're gonna store the result in here in a new variable called distance to player. And that's gonna be running every frame. And then we're gonna put in a float operator right after that. Okay, I'm just gonna make some room for us. Now, this first float value is gonna be the minimum distance that the NPC even starts looking at the player. So we'll say that at around eight units, they'll start looking at us. Anything further than that, and they won't be looking at us. And then the second value is the distance to player. And we're gonna be subtracting. And then the result of this operator will be stored in a result that we'll call look at underscore weight. And this is gonna be running every frame. Okay, so now this weight value, we could change to our look at weight. So what's happening here is that we're taking this minimum distance, right, eight, and we're subtracting the distance to player. So if the, the distance to the player is 10 units, we're gonna get a value of negative two. And anything at zero or below, our look at IK weight is going to read as just zero, as in don't even look at the player. And as you'll see here that if I just change the weight back really quick, zero is when nothing's happening and one is when something is happening. But in between, these are all fractions. So I'm gonna change this back, which means that if the player was at four units away, then eight minus four is four. And four is not a value we could put in here into weight because it just tops off at one. They would have started looking at the player a long time ago. Now you could keep it this way, right? If we just uh, play this. Okay, the NPC is looking at us, and if I back away, they stop looking at us about that far, right? Right here, they start looking at us, okay? But you'll see, see how like as I inch towards them, they slowly start looking at us, right? You could keep this result. This works totally fine. But if you wanted to, you can also make them slowly turn to you and look at you even more on a much smoother gradient. Just hit stop really quick. The way we can make that a little smoother is by putting in a float divide. I'm gonna put that right after our float operator. It's gonna be our look at weight, running every frame, and we could divide by something like five, All right? So now if I play this, okay, they're looking at us because we are pretty close. But as I back away, you'll see that they are, let me just make this a little bigger so you can see they are slowly looking away at a much smoother rate, right? So as I get closer to them, they slowly turn to look at us. You see how it's a lot smoother now? And you could change that gradient by just changing this number. So for example, if I change it to 10, it is a very smooth gradient now, super smooth. And the lower this number goes, say if it's just two, it's a little snappier. Okay, so you could just change that to your liking. If you look at the actual weight here in the look at IK, you could see the float value increasing and decreasing. Whereas if we didn't have this float divide, you could see how it happens a little quicker. Okay, and that is how you use Final IK's look at action to make NPCs look at you when you're near and look away when you're far. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.